What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Project Aura. I actually turned off the anti-aliasing because it was, I don't know, it felt like it was locking the frame rate or something when I was playing the game. But anyways, welcome back to Project Aura. What we're going to be doing today is continuing to work towards self-sufficiency. Let me turn the game back on real fast. If you forgot how to do that, you can press the shift key along with the plus or minus keys on your number pad and it will allow you to increase or decrease the speed right there as you see fit. We're on day five right now. I actually starved my colonists on accident on the previous day. It was, I didn't mean to, it just sort of happened. Happened. I was fiddling around with the rations and removed them on accident right about the time everybody was trying to eat So we may have taken a morale penalty As of right now, we are still waiting for more operators to become available so that we can produce more water But it's not really going that way for us right now, which is a little bit disappointing It's actually making me kind of sad a master programmer for 500 Splatter cats. I've decided that the credits are going to be called splatter cats now. They're not surf credits. They're splatter cats It was suggested in the first episode by one of my viewers and I, I like that I think all of it's going to have my face on it somewhere and splatter cat We sort of trust to maybe hopefully not misclick and kill us all Anyways, what we need to do today is we need to make a recycler from what I understand We need to make organics recycling though And so I don't know if there's like a difference in the buildings That's a recycling plant I think this is the plant that we need right here and through templates we can take a look and see what we have so that's the recycling plant that's the assembly plant that's the workshop and that's the portal and those are the four parts that we have now if you're interested in doing it you can actually create your own templates on here if that's something that you're into it's a pretty sweet little feature where well anyways let me right, do those go hold on oh man and it made those permanent okay so what I need to do here is you actually can delete these somehow anyways we'll look at the templates right now what we need to do is if I add a new template what we can have is you can take like the recycling plant which will be right here unfortunately the view in this window is a little bit small but you can put that right there for your template let's say that you want to have the assembly plant like right next to it so you could take that and that's gonna cost you a little bit the assembly plant eh, kind of expensive you can rotate it like so And then what you could do is you can have the, there's a workshop as well. Well, damn. You can put the workshop right there. And then the portal, which allows people to get to work, will go right there. And now we've made a template. Down at the bottom, you'll see the total cost for building this template. But be aware that the pre-built templates that it comes with may not give you all of the options for the building. So, for example, each template might only produce one type of garbage. Whereas if you add all of them to a template, you can then process every type of garbage. It just sort of depends what you need. So I'm not really sure which one of these is going to be the one that helps us the most. I think we may be able to... See, I'm not sure how to remove a portal from this whole thing. Let me delete that template real fast. We'll add another one to the end. And I think that's just a... What is this? That's the assembly plant. I don't know if we need the assembly plant. I think we only need the recycling plant. So I may make a location that only has recycling to make it a little bit cheaper. And then I'll add a workshop to the back side of it right there. And then we'll just add a portal real fast. And that'll be the one that we'll use. And so let me get the stuff together that we're going to need in order to start recycling some of our dew and turning it into good things that we can use. We can either process this organic garbage right here is what I'm trying to process. So we want to do organics recycling. And it should turn this into seaweed, I think. And then from there we can plug the raw seaweed into our seaweed factory along with the water that we're getting from the desalinators at which point we should have a production line which will be capably producing everything that we need to continue surviving for a while and also provide us with a surplus so that we can save ourselves from horrible horrible debt a feeling that I know all too well so anyways let's drag this bad boy out here it does not want to be dragged right now hold on I'm gonna do all my production over on this side Oh, we don't have the zero cell indicated by the orange arrows must have something built on them. Hmm. So what's wrong with it? The zero cell indicated by the orange arrows. I can't see. Oh, you can actually, that must have something built on it. What if I do that? Will that make you happy? Although I don't see a way to delete things from these templates. This was not covered in the tutorial, by the way. Let me, I'll delete the template and we'll start over. Oh, so it likes to be attached like that. Okay, it makes sense now. I get it. So now what we need is we'll take the recycler. Let me rotate that really quickly. We'll put it like so. 
we will take the machine shop and the portal there we go and so now the template should be good for production so now what we want to do is since this location is producing all of our garbage I suppose I'll put this right next to it we don't have the stuff we need obviously as denoted by the crimson letters that are so viciously looking me right in the face right now so let's go ahead and we'll buy the 250 prefabs that we need you can produce these for yourself but it's like a really really long process and as far as I understand you can only produce alpha prefabs right now I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure you can only produce alpha prefabs this is going to be yet another expensive building that we can't afford. But once we get up and running, it'll be worth it. So there it is right there. I will once again say none of this is covered in the tutorial. Like, they show you how to build, like, two buildings, but they give you all the stuff you need. I actually think the tutorial should take you through a full chain of production. As it stands right now, the tutorial makes you build one of these buildings, assign it with directors and stuff. It, it makes you build one of the seaweed factories, but it gives you everything you need in order to complete the cycle. On this side, I think we're going to need a heavy operator, so we need a recycling blueprint or a blueprint right now, and that's going to be organics recycling that we need. So I think we get that from them, maybe? I don't know if it's organic waste recuperation, or if it's just basic recycling. I think it's just recycling, and then we can swap the type later on. I also wish you could just drag and drop from the store into there so that you didn't have to do the extra step of going from your inventory. Just like a little minor managerial thing. At this point, this all should be fairly simple to everybody. We just drag our managers in. There's our director. We drag in. Wow, we need a lot of recyclers to make this work properly. That is going to be quite a bit. I think you can reschedule. Yeah, we can make this organics right here, and we have that already. Oh, it'll give us fertilizer. Good. Okay, so that was a part of the construction cycle that I wasn't aware of. That's fine, we may not need it. It needs 500 work points, each person will do like 10. So with a full bout right there, it'll actually get going pretty quickly. We also need what? Building maintenance? That's what I figured. So building maintenance, let's get that up and running too. Building maintenance, where are you hiding? It's always over here somewhere. Building maintenance. There it is. Maintaining the buildings, where's my monkey wrench? Somebody clocked a toilet on the third floor. There we go. They're eating too much ramen on the third floor. I'm telling you, it's that blockage that they're all getting from eating too much seaweed. All right, so we need techs. We need recyclers. I'm sure we can get a couple of these things, right? You guys aren't going to do me like that, are you? There's a senior recycler, but those always bug out and disappear, so I'm afraid to take them. Instead, I'm just going to hire a bunch of juniors right here. Did that one actually count? Okay, it did actually count. That makes me happy, because sometimes they don't count if they're leveled up, and it makes me sad. They just, like, vanish into Nowheresville. Got one recycler. I will also take... Oh, there's two recycler. That's a senior recycler, though, and I don't trust that. He's going to break it somehow, and he's not going to count. And it's going to make me be like... And I'm going to get very... very I'm going to be upset about it. Anyways, let's go ahead and we'll drop one. We'll get these guys in here. I've got an operator for the other building. We'll get a recycler in right here. We need technicians still. All right. So I'm not going to set this up to start working just yet until I get this all in play. Let me find a couple technicians because I don't want to break the building. We don't have any technicians right now. This is a terrible system. The developers need to revise this. The you get random things that you don't need is a shitty system. Like, I, I try not to be mean, and so I don't take that in a mean way. It's just a bad system. Objectively, getting random recruits sucks. It's just like, eh. You should be able to just, like, pick what you want because we have all these people down in cryo in here somewhere, right? Like, this building supposedly houses all of them. So if we have them all in cryo, why can't we just, like, search and sort real fast by what we need? It seems fairly obvious to me that we should be able to just, like, grab whatever we need out of this situation. People are leveling up, so we've got Odell Morgan Dumassi, who has gotten himself leveled up. Food is looking okay. We have enough for, like, a day and a half right now. And then after that, we're going to get in trouble. I don't know what the hell this means over here. This risk thing right here... No idea. Not covered in the tutorial, so I suppose we'll find out once it fills up. It's turned yellow right now, which is slightly concerning. I, I am not sure what's going to happen when we get to the end of this. If it blows up and kills us all, I assume that we'll try and figure something out for it. But as of right now, we're actually not doing too terribly. We just have to basically wait for a new round of people that can join us to repair our buildings. Oh, there's a technician right there. They're all... Okay, don't buy the seniors. The seniors bug out, and sometimes they don't go into your inventory. It's a waste of money. It will make you sad, and you will cry, because you have wasted a bunch of money purchasing somebody that is not productive and did not join your team. So there we go. Let me throw that out right there. We've got a couple more people that we need to assign, but that also means we got a few more people eating, too, so therein lies the problem. If we open up our 
unassigned people menu. We've got a technician right here. We need operators or recyclers for in there. Do I have any recyclers left? I don't think that I do. Okay, so we have no recyclers. So the operators, let's go back over here. And let's assign operators to one of these buildings. So we've got room for a couple more operators right now. Since this one has two technicians already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up to be the location through which we produce like a ton of water. And then this final operator can go down to right here, even though that's going to bug out and look weird. And I hate it, but eh, we'll go over here with him, I guess. I don't know, this little spider webby thing. I like it to be slightly organized. And so now, we're doing 26 per cycle good. It only takes them three cycles to produce 10 water. You should see this building become very, very profitable very, very shortly. This thing should start actually, like, pumping out some of the things that we need. We've already got enough water here that we can sell for 100 credits. Start making a little bit of money on the side. I wouldn't recommend it right now because we need water to keep people alive. But, it's not too bad. I think I'll probably assign this other technician to this building right here so that we can max it out with operators too. So let's go ahead and drop Georgia Robinson Moyer in here. That's actually my cousin's last name, Moyer. When you live in the United States, it's funny though, like how all your cousins have different nationalities. So I have a cousin that last name is like Selinski, he's Polish. I have another cousin whose last name is Moyer. I have no idea where that's from. I assume it's probably Irish or... I have no clue, to be honest, but it's weird how, like, as your family expands out, you have, like, a bunch of different just, like, nationalities and ethnicities in your family. That's, like, part of being an American. Like, I got a cousin who's Polish, cousin who's Irish. I'm Hawaiian and Welsh, which is the weirdest combination ever. And everybody in America, we always remember where we came from for some reason. I've always wondered if anybody's ever written a paper about that, why we all remember where we came from. Even after like 200 years, we've all got, like, family trees and stuff that we trace back to the old country. It's the weird... I don't know. I don't... I don't know, maybe it's like trying to stay in touch with a heritage because technically, I don't know. It's like one of those things that you can realize when you get into this conversation. If you get into this conversation, you know somebody's going to get offended and like angry once you start talking about it because they misinterpret what you said. So I don't know. I think it's one of those things people avoid too. Let's throw another operator in here. And if we can get them going. Have they leveled up at all yet or are they still just chilling? He's le it says he's level 2, but on his little card right here it says he's level 1. Hmm. So I suppose that's not being accurately depicted either. These alpha games, I tell you what, these alpha games. Anyway, so that's producing water at a reasonable rate right now. You've got a little surplus of our organic garbage right now. Always remember, you can change what you're processing or processing by going to those little, the little gear menu right here. I didn't notice this for the longest time, where if you right-click, there's a little gear right here. You can change what it produces through that spot. I didn't notice it. I would actually suggest they take this button, and they make it big, and they put it right here. And, like, make it really, really obvious, where it says, like, change output or something like that, so that at least you... This little button right here, though, it's, it's noticeable, but, you know, me being who I am, I missed it. I missed it entirely. We have the people here to start recycling, so I suppose we can start the cycle. I don't see any reason not to. Let's go ahead and get it going. Oh, you can only do three cycles right here? Okay, well, I guess get it going. Oh, it'll only let you do as many cycles as the garbage you have. Okay. It's going to take him 57 cycles to get that done. We need some more recyclers. Definitely, we need some more recyclers. Let's get this guy going on repairing the building or this lady. I don't know. I don't keep checking the sex. There's no way to tell the sex by the little cards right here. I would actually, if they cared, you could put like a little male or female symbol right there so that I could give them the proper pronoun, but it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We'll get the recycling going right here. Let me check and see if we got any new recruits that can recycle for us. There's a senior recycler right there. I'm still, I'm not trusting the senior recyclers. As of beta 2 right now, anybody that's denoted as a senior tends to like bug out. So I've explained this like three times, but just in case you came in in the middle of the video, because people do it. In case you came in in the middle of the video, anybody that's like a higher rank, sometimes when you buy them, they actually won't go into your inventory right here. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I don't know. The developers should probably investigate that one. We need... Do we have enough operators? Let me check this building over here and make sure that we have enough operators real fast. You can see the frame rate takes a big dip when you're inside of the menus. We have three right there. I need another operator then. So let's get the water production going. And we're actually, as you can see, we're starting to be productive. We're actually making things at this point, which is where you want to get to before you run out of money. Essentially, a lot of people don't realize this, but a lot of companies have this thing. It's called liquid income, or they have a liquid financial situation, which means they constantly require an influx of cash to continue functioning. Meaning, for example, in the oil industry, 
if a company didn't sell oil for like nine or ten days straight they would go bankrupt pretty quickly because they simply don't have the financial backing to keep that running the way that they need to keep it running they just their money comes in and then they spend it on all their output it just kind of goes in and out and yeah they do have enough to pay their employees and have like a paid wage and everything but at the end of the day they don't have enough to keep their entire infrastructure up and running in pocket for more than a couple of days and so it's kind of like an interesting situation. It's the same thing in this game. You want to have, you want to be producing as much as you can by the time you run out of money. So at least you have something you can vendor at that point. Looks like we're running out of water down in here. I'll probably take a stack of, I'd say probably a hundred. And it's unfortunate that I have to click this this many times. Let's go back this way. Maybe we can go around the horn. We cannot. You cannot go around the horn. Okay, so that's going to be a clicky little mess. All right. Well, you can't shift click this right here. I wish that you could, but you can't. I suppose I'll take 50 right here. Oh, that's a little odd. Okay. So it doesn't... There it is. So we'll take... Alright, it doesn't like larger numbers. Hold on, you gotta give me a second here. The game still obviously has some, some rough edges that we have to deal with. And see, it falls off your cursor right there. I think it might not like you taking more than a certain amount. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It doesn't like you to drag and drop more than a certain amount. That's going to become frustrating very quickly. Can I take maybe 20 without it falling off my cursor? No. It only like inc it only likes increments of like 10, it looks like. Maybe? Oh, it'll take 15s. I mean, that'll work. I'll organize this in a little bit. I'm sorry, everybody. We just have to like figure it out. We don't have enough food right now, so I'm going to have to buy some seaweed, unfortunately, which is a disappointing factor that I really don't feel like doing right now because the seaweed is super expensive. Let me slow the game down for just a second. We'll buy... 100 seaweed portions maybe and that should keep us going for another couple of days without people starving to death We should be able to get our production line up and running based on what we have right now. That's gonna be enough for four days That's it. Oh, man. Okay, so we definitely need to start hitting that production We need to get it up and in there. Hopefully the recycler over here is producing correct. It will be in a moment too, but we need Recyclers. So let's have a look over here and see if we can find ourselves some more recyclers. If you wanted to move your list around, what I may do is you can actually close the game and reopen it and it'll give you a different list of people. I've been doing that as a way to like keep the episodes flowing because obviously we keep hitting an impasse with everything. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. I'll make a cut. I'll be right back. Never mind. I was actually wrong. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It doesn't cycle the list. I thought that it did. Maybe it's if you close the game entirely. But for right now, for right now, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, I think we could probably pull... Well, we got to make some money. That's the thing we're sitting at right now, is if we don't start making some cash, we're going to be in the red very, very shortly, especially since I don't know what happens when this meter fills up. I'm assuming nothing, because the game is early enough on right now to where none of the tutorials and none of the guides that people have posted online say anything about, like, catastrophes happening. But maybe that's, like, our time limit or something for right now. Either way, let's just hang out for a little bit and talk about what's going to be coming along next while we wait for this list to get refreshed, which it hasn't for a little while, but I'm hoping it will shortly. What we're going to do next is that we really, really, really need to get a seaweed factory up and running. We now have all of the raw materials that we need in order for this to function properly. We've got organic garbage coming in through the port. Once we recycle it, it then becomes seaweed and it becomes fertilizer. Each one is enough fertilizer for one cycle inside of our seaweed factory and enough seaweed for half a cycle inside of here. So I guess half of one full production chain. So it takes two of these to get enough of these, but we should be able to make it work. We've got enough fertilizer to work for a little while. We're producing a ridiculous amount of water right now, so that should be enough to keep us taken care of as far as supplies are concerned. But the seaweed factory is essentially what we're trying to work with next. And so unfortunately, we're sitting here waiting for this to give us something else. I sincerely wish there was a button you could click and just pay like 50 credits or something to refresh it and maybe get some more like recycle everybody. But for right now, there's not a whole lot we can do. So instead, what I may consider doing with this episode is cutting it a tad short. We've gotten all the things done that I wanted to get done and I may just let this ride off camera for 5-10 minutes and we'll see where we wind up. I also forgot to turn the game speed back up, which is the other big issue. The game actually functions a little bit slowly. So if you're somebody that likes the game to play very, very fast, so for example in Tropico, I like to play mine with everything just like maxed out on the speed and I just like play as things come up, I deal with them and I just fly through. Some people don't like that. Some people like the game to work a lot slower. But anyways, I'll probably just let this ride for about five minutes and we'll come back in the next part and we'll set up the factory so that we can get that going. After we get that rocking out, I think we'll have, I, I'm hoping we'll have enough money anyways to start our plastics production even though our cash is looking a little bit skimp right now. 
I, I think we should probably focus on food for the next little bit and then sell our surpluses of food to make some money. And this may require me to do a little bit of off-camera just kind of management, but for right now, I think it'll be okay. So, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Project Aura. I look forward to seeing you all in the fourth episode, which will be the next one coming up tomorrow. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.